Hi everyone. Well, this is my latest cord process saw. Um, I can't think of a name for it yet. Maybe some of you could think of one for me. Uh, maybe I'll have some sort of competition about the name. Um, it's pear, vanilla cream, and it's got a grapefruit as well. Um, the brown swirl in there was meant to be a green swirl, but I used a water-based green dye. And I'm guessing that maybe you don't use water-based dyes for cold process so because naturally it's going to change or bleach the colour out of it. Um, so the peaks were a lot higher than they are, but um, I don't think it's turned out too bad. I really love it. It smells gorgeous. Um, I just found anything I possibly could to put on top of there, chopped up some orange soap segments into cubes, which my little boy said looks like cheddar cheese. Um, and I also put some green bath crystals on there, some sprinkles, and I put some gorgeous peachy coloured glitter on there, so hopefully you can see that. Um, yesterday I said I was going to talk about my bath truffles. So I'll take you over to see those. Um, I change the bath truffles quarterly, so depending on what time of year it is, they're always different. Uh, the first one is my She Bliss, and you can see it looks fabulous. It also smells fabulous, and it, that one contains chocolate, lavender, and sugar with sugared hearts and chocolate hearts on there. Uh, the second one is Contiki Fizz. This one is grapefruit, sweet orange, lemon, and it all, it's rolled in calendula petals. And the little red seeds are mini bath pearls. The next one I've got is Neroli Flower. So it's Neroli Tangerine. It's got sunflowers on. The sunflower fragrance really comes through in these. Um, the next one we have is Stressless or stress less. Um, rolled in herbs, smells of patchouli, cassis, it's got a couple of rosebuds in there. Uh, the next one we have is pink. Pink it outsells every other colour put together. Uh, so this one I've called Love Buds. It's lavender and white chocolate with rose. It's got real lavender buds on the top and a pink sugar flower. The next one I always have in stock, and it's my best seller, it's just plain and simple with real rose petals, rolled in real, real rose petals, and it smells beautiful. It smells like Kenzo flowers, the perfume, that's the best way to describe it. So that's violet, rose, and jasmine. The next one we have is Hay Fever, and it's berry, sugar, vanilla, and then it's got real heather sprinkled on the top with the gorgeous lilac and yellow sugar flower. The next one we have is Berry Licious. It's dewberry, raspberry, strawberries and it's got freeze dried fruits on there with all grated chocolate. The next one, perfect for Easter, is Fields of Joy. It's orange blossom, grapefruit and vanilla with three different kinds of sugar flowers and it smells absolutely gorgeous. The next one, it's really, really cute. I'm hoping you can see it's got little duckies in, so it's called Hello Ducky. And it smells like Isimiyaki, the men's Isimiyaki. Another one I always keep in stock is Fruit Bellini. This one's Blackberry, Dewberry and Raspberry. And with topping of peppercorns, it also has peppercorns inside and strawberry seeds. Um, it does make a bit of mess of the bath, but it's really, really good. Um, the fabulous thing about the truffles is that they are really, really creamy in the bath. And I'll just show you the size of one compared to a real bath bomb. They're not very big, but there's more in that little ball than there is in the big one. And they're all made with uh, pure cocoa butter, she butter, uh, bicarbonate of soda, citric acid, a little bit of cornstarch, which helps with, um, it stops the oil forming on top of the water and it mixes it in with the water. So it doesn't feel greasy on the skin, it feels creamy and milky. 
Um, so I hope you like those as much as I do. Um, I've sell them in packs of three like this uh, in the shape of a cracker. That's some of them. I need to get some more done. And those, that's what's left of my Christmas ones. Um, so I'm going to start wrapping those up in a cracker shape. Um, they're really nice in a presentation box like this or just a plastic carton with ribbon round. And I just wanted to mention at the end of this, um, I don't know if anyone's seen Number One Dream Painter online. Well, something terrible's happened to her husband. He's had a stroke and she's asking us to say a prayer for them. Well, for him, but I thought it'd be nice for us to say a prayer for both of them. So if you can find the time to do that, that would be lovely. Signing off until tomorrow.